What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another Star Wars Shatterpoint Battle Report from Aegis Brand Studios. Very excited today. We are bringing you some of the brand new stuff. We have the Mandalorian pack and the Moff Gideon pack, and we're going to show you those in just a second. Uh, but I have uh, Alex joining me. Hello. Hey. And uh, yeah, we are we are back on the desert planet of Tatooine, as you can tell here. And uh, we are ready to duke it out. We have our, uh, our shifting priorities ready to go. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check out the squads in just a second. And remember, if you want to support the channel, patreon.com slash agesbrandstudios, or hit up uh, iwargame.net, use code agesbrand to save 10% on your next uh, battle map purchase. Anyway, let's take a look at everything. All right, Alex. So uh, we are giving you the joy of using the Moff Gideon pack. Oh, I'm very excited. Yes, I see. I recall that. That's that's why I kind of gave him gave him your way there. Oh yeah. yeah. So we got Moff Gideon with his uh, Death Trooper escort and his Dark Troopers right I, there. I'm very prepared to mess up those names yep. multiple times. Oh yeah. No, clearly, clearly. <laughs> Just going to call them all sorts of things. Uh, and it looks like you've opted for uh, Vader Jedi Hunter yeah, with he, some Stormtroopers. He, I, f I feel like he can still be fun, even though the new Vader is very interesting and fun. Uh, I think that this list is going to benefit very greatly from the Stormtrooper Supervisor. And Stormtroopers are also here. I love it. And across the way, we have Din Djarin with Grief Karga and the IG-11 Assassin Droid, being joined by Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, Boosh, and Lando and R2-D2 inside job. Uh, kind of leaning a little bit into the uh, the bounty hunter scoundrel type stuff. Well, I guess more bounty hunters because um, I got three of them in this list. And then Luke just kind of is agnostic and, you know, Lando and R2 just kind of exist. But uh, here we go. Every, everyone is back on Tatooine and we are ready to fight over. I, I can only assume the child. We, we are fighting you, over Grogu. That's, you do, in fact, have something that I want. Yeah, exactly. There, there is a Grogu on there. Uh, so I won priority. So we're going to get everything deployed and then find out what the uh, what the mission looks like. We're all deployed, ready to go. We have Moff Gideon and Vader across the way, paired off against Luke and uh, the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. So we got to determine what our first scenario is looking like, and it's going to be the recon enemy positions. Okay. So uh, that back point is going to be active, and then this one's going to be active over here for me. And uh, at this point, yeah, I, I'm going to be going first and seeing what I can do. So let's get right into it. Kicking off my particular side here. We're going to have IG-11, and because I don't want to have to pay extra force to uh, to reserve my mooks, I'm just going to go with IG-11, I guess. <laughs> so IG-11, first off, he gets a, a tactic. So uh, when he starts his activation, he can remove a condition, and then he may dash. So he's going to start just by, by dashing up this way. Like so. And then I think what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Yes, come closer. I have to come closer. I don't want to come closer. <laughs> I got to check something. And I can't actually get him within uh, range five of anyone. So we're just going to wander over there. We're going to take that point and we're going to call it a day with IG-11. We're also going to just uh, use our last action to take cover there with IG-11. And uh, yeah, that's all it for him. All right, who we got, Alex? We're starting things off with, uh, we have Shatterpoint at home. <laughs> yes, yes. So <laughs> the Ewok Battle Trap card is going to be the Shatterpoint card in this particular game. Yes, I actually have a Shatterpoint card yeah. at home, I promise. Yeah. Uh, I don't love Shatterpoint on turn one. No, I don't I, mind you spending some force. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be spending a force. Okay. So I draw immediately and then shuffle it in. Yes, sir. So we're going with Vader instead. I don't mind you getting Vader pulled this early either. Yeah, that, that makes me feel good. not ideal. All right. All right, so what's Vader up to? Vader's going to have a very boring turn where he walks over to this ingress point, climbs his way up. Yes, sir. And probably not on that point just yet. Yeah, there's a little bit of overhang on these buildings, but we're going to we're gonna allow it. It's just his cape and lightsaber being the least possible yeah. good things. Yeah, like in egregious cases, we'll, we'll enforce that particular rule, but... Uh, and then he's just going to take yeah. cover, 
and get uh, himself onto that point. That that point is Vader's. I I don't know if I want to try taking it from him at this point. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna score two. I will. There we go. Two points for you. Back over to the Mandalorian side. Oh, I don't know if I like this or not. I don't like this at all. So we're gonna spend a force, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have uh, Lando and uh, R2 instead. All right, we're gonna spend a force to mingle. So we're gonna get these uh, these mooks just a little bit further up here, and then they're going to do a uh, they're gonna just do an advance to get up to this point here. And apparently these are two of the bravest idiots in the galaxy <laughs> as they willingly go and fight Darth Vader. We're gonna take away his no his hunker there. And uh, yeah, we we just gonna we gonna punch Vader. I'm also gonna spend a force to do an element of surprise. Uh, so we're gonna be adding two dice to each attack roll. If I happen to roll two crits in either of these rolls, then uh, I will be exposed. Mm -hmm. So here we go. All right. Two, four, six, eight. We're gonna start with R2. Vader's got six. Actually, we're gonna start with Lando. Okay. Doesn't really matter, but we're gonna start with Lando. Yep. That's pretty good from Vader. Well, I think I'm exposed. All righty. Well, two. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Two blocks. <laughs> Unless unless that one expertise is a crit for me, which uh, it is not. Okay. It's just a damage. Just take a damage, oh, man. I'll take a damage. Yeah, yeah. Just take a damage. I feel like that's um, an even trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take I, a damage, I you take exposed. You take one damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, now R2 is going to show uh, Lando how it's done. Uh, so that's a double exposure right uh, there. Well. Oh, no, sorry. Don't take a damage. Don't take a damage. It was oh, okay. just an extra strike. Uh, I see. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong chart there. So, so this time I rolled like your last one. Okay, so you're going to get rid of two of my successes right there, and my two things right here are going to be just one extra strike. So three going through? Three go through. So uh, three going through is, surprisingly, it's going to be four damage. Okay. All right, well, actually, how do I want to do this? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be four... Oh. You know what? No, it's going to be three damage. Okay. Uh, we're going to attempt to uh, shove you, which we can't. Okay, dokie. We're going to pin you, Ooh. and we're going to do a recover. Oh, nice. So we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, that we're gonna get rid of that expose, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna take expose again. I see. This way, I just don't take a damage, right? Fair enough. So, but Vader will have taken three points of damage, and yeah. I'm gonna flip that point over to me. Yeah. Ha ha! Take that, and I will score three. There we go. And I will back over to the Empire. We've got Mr. Gideon. Yeah. So he's got a tactic ability, so mm -hmm. uh, he can uh, choose another Allied Galactic Empire character within four, mm -hmm. and have them dash. Yeah, that sounds really good. I would have loved to have maybe done that for Vader so we could get off the board and then punch somebody, but uh, anyways. Yeah, yeah, so Dark Troopers or Death Trooper. Let's let's have this Death Trooper head on up over Ooh, here. He's going to go mess with IG-11, eh? Yeah. And then Mr. Gideon himself is yeah. going to choose Incredible Violence, hopefully. I love it. So what's Gideon up to? Gideon is going to walk up to his Death Trooper friend here and then take this ingress point and take a little peek over at a droid there. Yeah, yeah, he can see IG-11. And then he would like to shoot him with his gun. I hate this plan. I love this plan. Although I have six defense dice plus one for hunger, so... I've got seven attack dice. I'm strangely durable. Yeah. Uh, pretty, eh, not bad at all. Yeah, does that, I don't know if that gives you a crit or not, but... Uh, it does. It gives me a crit and a pin. Oh, I don't like being pinned. Uh, all my expertise, though, my three expertise is going to give me two successes and a reposition. Okay. So guess what that reposition is going to do? It's just going to burn the pin. Fantastic. And I'm so which blocking... means I get the crit through? The crit does go through, yeah. Which is two whole damage. Two whole damage on IG-11. Yeah. All right. I, I'm good with that. So, okay. So that is, uh, is that it for Moff Gideon? Um... Or do you have anything else you want to do with him? Uh, just for fun, we'll try and get things a little bit uh, set up for next turn. We're going to be spending force on Long Live the Empire. Okay. So he's going to be able to select a Galactic Empire support unit, and one character in that unit may, da or may do a full advance. And this is range agnostic, isn't it's it? It's range agnostic. Wow, that's yeah. good. He's really hoping to get the free usage of this off of his tree. Uh, but in the absence of that, we're just going to get this... Uh, Dark Trooper to yep. head up. And then and he'll he does take, take a dam uh, two damage. Two damage, yeah. Okay. And you will score uh, just one point this time around. Yeah, I wasn't able to take anything back, but... And that's going to be momentum for both of us mm -hmm. as we go into the next turn.
Something we forgot to mention, uh, Grief Karga's ability, there was one job, did activate at the beginning uh, before the, we pulled the first struggle. Uh, we did end up seeing the Dark Troopers pulled out, which is why I was kind of hoping to, to get a couple shots off with IG-11 yeah. there. Uh, so basically, if, if a bounty hunter takes out these guys, uh, I will be getting an extra, um, an extra point on the struggle tracker. They are now a priority target for me. Back over to the, the good guys here, and we got the goodest of guys with, uh, with Din Djarin here. So each character, uh, so first off, uh, you know, we have a clan of two happening, but um, right now Grief Karga is a is a uh, not a bounty hunter, so we're just going to advance with Din Djarin here. Mm -hmm. So now, now I got a whole bunch of things to do here, so I got to take a quick look and see what I'm doing. We're also going to spend a force, and we're going to do a clan of two. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I'm just going to move them up as far as the, mm -hmm. the the dash will get me, just to make it a little bit more difficult to be pushed off that point. And we're gonna make a five die attack into uh, into Mr. Uh, Mr. Dark Trooper there. Okay. So uh, I got a I got a nice tree here. So here we go. So my my two expertise is gonna give me two crits. Okay. Uh, I'm blocking those two strikes. So two crits go through, and that's just gonna be uh, three damage and a shove. Okay. Uh. So, so the sh we've. Uh, confirmed that these shoves do happen, even though their mobile says they can't be pushed. Yeah, the, the separate effect. The shove is mechanically a different effect mm -hmm. than a push. That that is what we that is what we have learned. Yep. And it was three damage, three but damage. they have protection, so they'll take two damage. Yes, sir. Uh, and now I got one more action uh, to do here, and we're just gonna do. Did we sniper rifle you. I think we just sniper rifle you. Are you bringing me in warm or cold? Uh, we're bringing you in cold. So this this is going to be a a seven die a seven die attack into okay. the uh to the dark troopers here. Oh no, cocked or not? Uh, looks pretty cocked. Looks pretty cocked. Okay. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. So that's going to be uh, three expertise, which for three expertise is going to be two crits. Okay. And I'm blocking two of those strikes, so you're getting three five through. or three through. Three through. Yeah. So three more through uh, going through to you is going to be. After protection, another four points of damage. Oof. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> and we're just going to shove you again. Okay. Bonk. Oh. Uh, what's up? I have a very important question. Okay. Does protection block damage from allied sources? Uh, it only blocks it from the damage pool. Then they're down. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, they only have eight? Yup. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, okay. That was unexpected. Uh, so yeah, I, I've, I've completed the one job then as well. So the, um, the struggle track, uh, yeah, the struggle tracker will go one, one my way. I'll get some momentum for that as well. Yeah. And that's where, that's where Mando's going to end his, uh, end his turn. We're going to take the center point. We're going to take four. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Mando, I, I love you, man. <laughs> you, you, you awesome. Wow. Back over to you. And we've got my shatter point. <sighs> I mean, you still have plenty of force, and you do have a perfectly good Vader over there who could just murder things. I, I do love murder. Murder is great. Yeah, we'll give you a moment. All right, so murder has been averted? Unfortunately. Sometimes I'll have to think about not murder. And instead we go with the Dark Troopers, Ooh. who will hopefully do murder. The unfortunate thing is now they're they're down another, uh, they're, they're on their injured yeah, side now. Yeah, this is not looking good for them, but hopefully they can swing it around. Hopefully. Well, they, they have a lot of a lot of potential, right? They do. Yeah. So what are the dark troopers or death? No, dark troopers. Dark troopers. These are dark troopers. <laughs> They're gonna be spending two force because they're already wounded on jump boots. Okay. We're gonna get one of them up into engagement with you. Is a robot gonna go punch me in the face? So. It's probably a good idea because I mean I do have do the uh, do the hand trick mm -hmm. uh, where it's basically deflect. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Two damage. Uh, two damage deflect if you mm -hmm. uh, if you roll a a fail. So, but uh, yeah. So you got two actions left here. Yeah, I uh, think we're we're gonna focus, and then we're gonna try and beat the crap out of Mando. Now, Gideon's identity. Do you have to be contesting the same objective? No, it's targeting someone who is co contesting an active objective that I don't control. Well, guess what? <laughs> Mando's gonna get punched in the face. And uh, you know what? You know what I do love? Letting my hatred make me powerful. Can can robots actually feel hatred? Uh, I'm I am decreeing that they can. <laughs> After what just happened, they can feel hatred. They, they gain sentience and like screw this guy. <laughs> so, oh man, I do love adding dice to things. So you should be rolling ten dice, I believe. You should be rolling ten dice because it's yeah. adding 
three dice from Vader and one die from Gideon yep. for this punch in melee. Yes, sir. And, uh, yeah. Uh, All right. That's a lot of expertise, though. Not no crits, and and six ex, seven expertise. Wow. Uh, so Mando just got his uh, his full expertise tree. Okay. So uh, uh, my gonna... oh no, I this attack looks very good on paper, but um, that's a crit and a strike. I got four total. So I got bad news for you. Uh, I'm going to turn your uh, crit into a fail and uh, block everything. <laughs> And block everything. And I, I even get a reposition on top of all this. Uh, which is... Uh, I, 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 I'm I sorry, dude. Oh, you, uh, yeah. I, so I'm just going to reposition out of line of sight. Oh, of, no. Of the other, uh, of the other uh, Dark Trooper here. Oh, no. Yeah, and he doesn't have any targets to shoot. And, so, uh, uh, I don't suppose he's got range on... Uh... <sighs> oh. No. So I, I I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> just does yeah, your yeah. did your expertise not give you any movement or anything like that? No, no, it was the expertise on them was a crit and a strike. Oh no, they're not having the best of showings. <laughs> no, they are not. Well, you and still have an action. I do, I do. You can move two guys onto the point and take it. That's that's what we're gonna have to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, perhaps that was not the greatest of showings. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd get four expertise and be able to reposition out of dodge, though? And who right? would have thought I'd roll seven expertise? Yeah, like that was that was just a weird roll, all <laughs> things considered. Uh, Mando's already shaping up. Like this is apparently an episode of The Mandalorian. That's what's happening. Oh here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you'll score uh, two points. Yep. And uh, you'll gain a momentum for that. Not right. that's really going to matter because <laughs> in the end of my next activation, it's going to be the round. Back over to this, the Shadow Point card. No. Bausch. All right, so Bausch is going to start, and uh, right off the hop, we have uh, we have Fan out, mm -hmm. so she's going to be able to uh, do that. And uh, this this is where things get. I, I'm letting Conan get the better of me right now. Uh, uh, Conan's working out for you, buddy. Con Conan's working out for me. So Bausch is actually going to roll up here, and we're going to spend my last two force. <laughs> okay. And, yep. Oh no, sorry. We're going to spend one more force. Ah, I see. And we're going to do fearless and inventive. Okay. So now we're going to do an eight die attack. Targeting uh, one of these one of these lovely little uh, dark troopers here. Okay. And I think it's going to be this one right here. We're going to target. All right. So uh, eight dice going in. I, I don't have any any coordinated fires or anything like that. I've got five. So here we go. Hey, I rolled on expertise on defense. Finally. <laughs> so. Um, uh, I got uh, five with three crits. Okay. So my expertise is going to be a block and turn a crit into a strike. Okay, so I'll still get three through. Oh, uh, no, I'll only get two. Yep. I'll only get two. Uh, so with those two going through, I'm going to... Uh, oh, oh, do I just do two points of damage to you after protection, or do I pin you and disarm you? Uh, they are immune to pin. Oh, you are immune to pin. Well, that's in my first tree anyway. So we're going to we're gonna do... Um, they're not activating for a little bit. So we'll do, no. uh, after protection, two, two points of damage. Okay. And we're just going to push this dark trooper Okey over to there. Okie dokie, indeed. We're going to go up to there. Uh, it's not enough to take the point back. Doesn't really matter, though, because uh, that is going to be the end of the struggle. Yeah. We're going to go into struggle number two. Okay, so we actually just double-checked the uh, Grief Cargus ability. There's one job, and our reading of it is that the first card is... The first card, and it's not whenever you pull a new one because the mission deck is all three decks there. Yeah. So that's that is how we're treating it. If we got it wrong, somebody can correct us on that one. Uh, but we both kind of feel like if I was able to keep getting those points, that'd be that stupid. Feels powerful. Very powerful. Very powerful. So yeah, we're all we're all set up and ready to go. Priority objective. It is the one you have. The one I have. But you know what? You still have your stormtroopers to pull and all that sort of stuff. So you might be able to shoot Lando and, and R2 off the table. Oh, it's we're going, we're on the top one. So oh, it's ID's sir. point over here. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. All right. That might be a little harder to shoot. That with. might be a little harder to do. <laughs> Who do we but got? We've got the Death, Death Trooper. Trooper Escort, which might be in the best position to do it. Yeah. Actually, if he has any pushes or shoves, you might actually be able to get IG-11 off totally. He's got a few, so I'm really hopeful. All right. We'll give you a second. 
All right, so what's the uh, what's the Dark Trooper up, or Death Trooper the up? Death to? Trooper Escort is off to a really interesting start and in getting to do some of the things I really hoped yeah. I got to do last struggle. First off, his tactic ability kicks yes. in. Yes, Imperial Efficiency. So he would get a supporting unit to dash, but because these Death Troopers have damage on them, it's actually a full reposition. <laughs> yeah, apparently they've taken a lot of damage. Yeah. I, I got him. Okay. I, got, I got the angle. So he's just going to walk onto that point and huh. sufficiently strip off that uh, hunker. Yes, sir. And then the Death Trooper Escort is going to spend a force for tactical advance. This is a dash and a focus action. Yes, sir. So he's going to get himself over onto this point, yep. sufficiently stealing it. <clears throat> but also, it's time for shooting, because I'm outside of two of IG... IG-11, IG yeah. IG-11. It's uh, shooting time. Yeah. It would be seven, but it's actually uh, going to be eight, because I got that focus action. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, because Gideon only has melee that he has. Yes. Thanks for you. Uh, still pretty good. That's good. No fails is great. Wow. And, ooh, finally. <laughs> How the turntables. How the turntables. I uh, will block one. My three expertise is going to be a single crit and a damage directly to you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is your tree. Uh, five? Yes. Yeah, that's the whole oh, darn... Oh, did you take one out for me blocking one? Yes. Okay, yeah, that is your tree. That's whole darn tree. <laughs> uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, And I've six, already seven. taken two damage, for the record. So I can't... Well, how much health does he have total? He has nine. Oh, well, I can kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there we so go. So I'm going to go down the top tree, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage, as well as a strain and exposed, and I get to reposition. Strain and expose. Eh. Do you, you need to... I guess reposition is a, a slightly better spot here, yeah. right? I don't hate repositioning... Yeah, and then I'll have some triggers to, to kick just in. Just over to here. Okay. And i got to take a look at my triggers. Okay. So, we just spent some time trying to figure out how IG-11's victory through combat is impossible works. Our yes. understanding is... because um, Okay, so what it is, is when he is wounded, when an opposing player would gain a momentum token, I roll an attack die. If yes. any fails are rolled, uh, IG-11 gets to make a dash. And then uh, within uh, within three... Oh, I think there also has to be like a uh, if there's more enemy characters than ally characters within three, which, which there, there are, are. I roll the die, and then in the event of a of a crit, I get to dash, and then each character within three suffers five damage. Yes. So the way we understand this is that he would get wounded. I would gain a momentum. You token. would gain momentum token. This would trigger victory through. Uh, Combat is impossible. Through, yeah. So now, in the event that he blows up, he's just off the table. He's yes. gone. He's not blowing up. He's not blowing up yet. <laughs> okay. And, uh, hey, and that, oh, that's an innate, so I don't think that actually triggers my strain. Uh, and then I will trigger the Mandalorian, who is going to get to uh, do a reposition mm -hmm. uh, for his uh, his identity. So he's just going to reposition over to here. Mm -hmm. And we are just going to get rid of, we'll get rid of the strain okay. off of, uh, of IG-11 there. And uh, is there anything else that's going on there? He gets to recover a couple times. Oh! No, he was not within two. I was going to say, he gets to recover twice as well. I could have just actually helped IG-11 out. Mm. Uh, and that is that is going to be it. Now we're going to score your points. Yep. So I'm going to score three whole points because I have the priority token. Yes, sir. And because you have this, uh, this point and over this here as well. back there. Beautiful. And that's the end of uh, your turn. Over to me. The priority is going to be uh, this back. Point, no. Uh, it's going to be this point. It's going to be that back point. That's not good for me. Uh, okay. And we are going to top deck. I think it's time to use this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use it. Yeah, so we're going to go with IG-11. He's going to get rid of this. And his uh, tactics ability is going to kick in. And we're just going to move where I'm outside of two mm -hmm. of uh, your guys here. Okie dokie. From his, from his tactic ability of dashing out of dodge. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, we're going we gonna to shoot some people here. We're gonna we're gonna shoot the uh, the dark troopers here and see if we can't do uh, what five four points of well five through protection. Well, we're also gonna focus that too. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna focus, and uh, then I have. Are you refusing my request? Each time a character in this unit makes an attack targeting an enemy character that is contesting an active objective, I do not control. I add three dice. Oh no! If you're not wounded, I lose momentum. Oh no! I would lose my momentum. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah. Anyway, so this is gonna be an eleven die attack. I've got five. So, uh, whew, man, it's a good thing I can't expose you. Yeah. That's still pretty good. I think I got better. <laughs> my, uh, my, my three expertise here is going to be 
Uh, let's see, uh, a crit and a strike. Okay. My two expertise is going to be, I turn these both into blocks, and a crit becomes a strike. So... I'm blocking four, and only five get through. Only five get through. I think the Dark Troopers are having a bad, bad day. I don't know what you're talking um, about. Because that, that, is, that is pretty much my tree rate there. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I gotta take a look at this. So I'm just gonna go. I, no matter what route I take, I'm gonna be like just doing awful, awful things to you. Yeah. So I'm just gonna shove you back a little bit. That's part of that. We're gonna deal enough damage to you. You don't care about the pin. No. What whoop de do, Basil? Um, <laughs> they do care about being wounded twice, though. Yeah, they do care about uh, being wounded twice. And I am going to, because I'm getting near the end of my deck here. I'm going to spend a force. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do a multi-thread targeting protocol. I. Mm -hmm. uh, so, because he's he's injured, so I have to spend a force to do this, and we're gonna shoot the dark trooper or the death trooper as well. Yes. And is it only a combat action that I get extra dice here? No, it's just when making an attack. So you still get. So this is gonna be eight dice. We don't control it yet, so. I don't control oh, it yet. Oh jeez. So eight dice coming in. No. Uh. And my my three expertise is once again a crit and a strike. My one expertise is a block. So you're getting your tree. Five through, and how much damage can the uh, the Dark Trooper take? Nine? Nine. I gotta see if I can do it. So the the Dark Trooper's gonna take six damage after protection. He's gonna be pinned and exposed, and we are gonna just take this point back. Yes. And uh, I think there's some shoves in there, so I might as well just kind of yep. shove you back that way. Yeah, my Death Trooper's really not feeling yeah. it. And I'm just gonna reposition and bounce into him right there. Uh, I'm gonna lose the momentum I got for killing the Dark Trooper. We're gonna take this point back, and uh, we're just gonna score one. Because mm -hmm. that was uh, not the priority objective. Priority objective. It is my back point again. Yes, sir. So that's At least be good I got for you. that going for yeah. me. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you this uh, this struggle. I think I, I don't really stormtroopers. I don't hate that. All right. I don't hate that at all. Everyone loves stormtroopers. Yeah. How about I remember where I put my movement? What are these bad boys up to? They are spending my last force for assault <laughs> tactics, so they get to do a dash forwards. Does this hurt them? Uh, they can, and it will. Because okay. they get to choose to spend it, uh, to take a damage in order to gain a focus. So they're going to take a damage, and they're going to focus, and... Is this where Lando and go down like chumps, <laughs> you know or what? are you going into bouts? Just, just for fun, <clears throat> we're going to have this one climb up this ingress point after his dash. Okay. Which does get them into melee. Uh, and they take a damage from choosing to focus. And then we're going to beat the crap out of Lando and R2. Sure thing. And when I say beat the crap out of Lando and R2, I, I mean I'm letting my hatred make you powerful. All right. I, I do not mind you doing a whole bunch of damage to your stormtroopers. But you got some good recovers on your tree as well, yes. don't you? So, well, yeah. This should so be, uh, it's five dice normally. So you go up to eight. And I focused. So nine. And then I add three. Yeah. And so that's not active, so no Gideon. Uh, no time. Gideon making it ten, unfortunately. That's still good roll. Bad. Yeah. One fail and three expertise. Well, I'm exposed, so uh, guess who's not getting any successes whatsoever? Oh, beauty. Yeah. So my expertise is going to be a single strike in melee and a damage that goes through to you. So that's going to be, what, six and a damage? Six and a damage, which is, spoilers, my whole tree. Uh, can you do seven points of damage? <clears throat> I think you can. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can do six. Do you have any conditions on you? I don't. Oh, well, I can do You can six. only do six. Is that, is that including the damage you did oh, from your... Oh, uh... six with the damage that I did. Yep. So, in that case, we will we will do it. Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from okay. expertise. Okay, yep. I, I would have been very upset for you if you failed to take out Lando and R2 on yep. this one. So, that is going to be seven damage, <laughs> as well as a strain, an exposed, and a shove. Oh, no. Who, and who who were you? Uh, I guess Lando. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll just, give it to you. Just to go away. <laughs> so um, you said it was a strain. Yes. Uh, and expose. Yep. Okay. And then I also get to do a measly <clears throat> six die attack into Bosch. Okay. I got five against this. Still pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Can't complain about that roll. My one expertise is in. One expertise in range is going to be a pin. All right. Well, I'll block two. Uh, I'll get two through, which is going to be a damage and two recovers on myself, getting rid of that hatred, making me powerful damage. So just uh, just two damage. Yep. Okay. And a pin. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, well, oh, Amanda... just one damage. Oh, just one damage. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I see that here. Uh, okay then. Uh, I have the the Mandalorian's uh, thing here. Uh, he gets to do uh, some recovers and a reposition. Mm -hmm. Not really. I have to do the recovers before the reposition, so unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can really do here. So we're just going to reposition like this, still mm -hmm. being engaged with. Uh, actually, do I want to be engaged? No, you know what? I'm going to reposition so I'm out of engagement with the the dark or the death. Oh, I'm. Oh, they're wounded. I don't care. Yeah, you um, you don't need to worry about the dark troopers. The death trooper who yeah. you are out of range on, you're good. Yeah. And uh, okay, and that will be that will be the stormtroopers, and you're gonna score two. It looks like. Yep. And I'm gaining a momentum for taking down Lando. Yes, sir. R two's fine though. Yeah. R two's cool. <laughs> Nobody shoots him. <laughs> so a, yep. something else that uh, we just realized: each time an opposing player gains a momentum token, yep. victory through combat is impossible. Does potentially trigger. Yes. So, so it checks for more enemies than allies. So I can't remember if we've missed one on this. I don't think we have. I don't think no. so. So uh, there are more enemies mm -hmm. um, within uh, within allied characters. So uh, I get to roll an attack die. An attack die here. That's a defense die. No. Nope. No explosion. No. No. No kaboom just yet. <laughs> Priority objective is going to be uh, this bad boy right over here. Yeah, the one you already got. All right. And I got Grief and Luke left. Looks like it's Luke in time. I'm going to get a force back for that. Okay, so Luke will start off by uh, by jumping. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to jump him over to here. And then I think what we're going to do... This feels really kind of weird. We're just going to climb and take cover. Okay. And we're just going to... Yeah, point. we're just going to take this back point here. The back point we've all been ignoring. Uh, and I will score th uh, three points. Yeah. So one, two, three... I am not an opponent to myself, so I don't get to trigger my, my <laughs> ability there. Uh, and that's going to be it for Luke. All right. Where's the priority going? Priority point is the one uh, that Luke just took. Woo! All right. Go, Luke! We'll see if I can't take that back from you with whoever I want. Yep. That's your shatter point card. Oh, my goodness. Well, Vader's still pinned, <clears throat> so he actually can't get over there. Yeah. We'll give you a moment. Yeah. All right. So who's up? Well, we're going to be choosing Moff Gideon, and I did make a mistake the last time I used his uh, tactics ability at the start of his turn. It's each character in the chosen unit and himself may dash. Yeah, and we both misread that. Yeah. We both definitely So he's going to be choosing this Death Trooper, which just shakes the pin. Yes, sir. And then he's going to dash down to here. And because of who he is, he just wins ties. He just wins ties. Yeah. And uh, that's just great. Everything's awesome, which means he can focus instead <laughs> on focusing and then punching. Yeah. Who's he going to focus and punch? Well, first he's flipping over to his burn them out side, which I believe is the more aggressive one. Certainly looks like it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and we are going to punch. See, the problem is... <laughs> Do you want to give me an extra die to start rolling with IG-11? <laughs> That's the problem, is he's definitely the weaker target, but it's kind of terrifying to punch him. That being said, I don't think I have any chance of uh, taking down Mando, so I think we're punching IG-11. Okay. And I, I love this. I love this plan. I Listen, if there's one thing I do in this game, <laughs> it's let my hatred be powerful. <laughs> uh, and I don't currently control this objective. Yeah, that's right. So, so you get another... You get another. Uh, this would be seven, and then I added three. So 11 dice coming okay. in. So seven plus three plus one... Press one from focusing. This is this, this is, is amazing. Twelve. Oh, it's twelve because you focused. This is amazing. I love it. This game's ridiculous. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Actually, that's pretty darn good for IG eleven too. That's gonna be uh, two successes, and I get a reposition on top of all that. My four expertise in <laughs> melee is gonna be two crits and two damage that just goes through. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna block five. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, just my crits go through. But that's still four crits. Four crits go through, and I'm taking two damage regardless Yep. from all that. Uh, which means... How much health does he have left? He's got seven left. I can do six. Does he have any conditions on him? Uh, not at the moment, no, unfortunately. Oh, no, I can't take him <laughs> down. Can't oh, do no. it. Uh, so we're gonna do six damage and shove you twice. That's fair. We'll send you, we'll send this ticking time bomb as far away as possible. Be gone with you! Be gone. <clears throat> Would you like to follow up at all? 
Uh, we'll follow up once. We'll just head over here. Okay. Uh, that's still pretty turn good for Moth Gideon. I will take that. Um, and I take this point and I score two. Okay. So one, two. And uh, you did not score any momentum. No. So no, no ticking time bomb roll this time. No. No. All right. And we're gonna roll off and see. Uh, this point is gonna be the priority. Oh, okay. Oh, and then gotta make sure it flips back to you here. Yep. There we go. So uh, Alex is just gonna be looking up how the whole uh, uh, tiebreaker thing goes when we have two people who can take ties. Yeah. In the meantime, though, Grief Carga is gonna get up to there. And uh, let's see here. Bausch is within four, so I think what we're going to do is, let's see, Bausch goes over here. It does not put Bausch within range to, to take that point. Mm -hmm. So I can't, I can't outnumber you in that regard right there. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm just going to shoot you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot the Dark Trooper oh, yes. over here. Yeah, you yeah. can see him. Yeah, I do have some land of sight there. It, I, I mean, it's just, it's just five dice. It's it's nothing major. Well, I've also got five dice. So here we go. Five dice coming in. Uh, don't need to be exposed here, though. I'm just blocking three. All right, one goes through. So that's going to be a pin in the damage. Uh, and he's got protection, so he'll get pinned. Yep, that, that's it. That's that's all he did. Oof, okay. Uh, and because I'm about to reshuffle my deck, I'm going to spend my last force, and we're going to do some of my favorite bounty, um, people are bounty hunters. Mm-hmm. So basically, all my bounty hunters within four of Grief Karga get to do a dash. Very nice. So and they get to do recover. So um, Bausch will recover, and I think what we're gonna do is I don't remember where the other points are gonna be here. So I, what I'm gonna actually gonna do here, I'm gonna Bausch go back just to just to here. Okay. And then Mando is going to. Mando is going to go. Mando is going to go this way. Okay. Uh, actually, no, no. Mando is going to go. Mando is going to go this way. Okay. Because now I'm within. Oh no, the recover comes before the dash. Dang it. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. Mando's going this way. Okay. Yeah, Mando's going this way. Mm. And we're just going to do that, and that's going to be uh, Grief Karga's uh, turn all done. Mm -hmm. All right, priority. The priority token is. Luke Indeed. Skywalker's point, which is unfortunately not in the realm of taking, <laughs> even by yeah, the mighty storm, the, the mighty supervisor. supervisor. <laughs> uh, he is going to get uh, inexorable advance, which is going to allow a uh, Galactic Empire support to do a reposition and then a. Is it range agnostic? It's range agnostic. Cool. So you know what? They're taking a damage for doing this. So why not make it on the dark tree? <laughs> why not? Is it the whole unit or just a character? Uh, I believe it is one character. Each character in the chosen unit may... Yep, all right. So they're right. going for a big old okay. walk. Why not? Because the second they... Because we know the middle point has a really good chance of activating yeah. for the next struggle, right? This other one might as well just get into a diff more uh, agnostic position. <laughs> he's, he's seen what the Mandalorian's been doing this game. He's like, nope, <laughs> nope. Uh, as for the supervisor himself, he's going to take a walk uh just over this yeah, away th that point is very safe for yeah. you <laughs> and then why not shoot bausch i'm sure she had it coming yeah, probably yeah yeah exactly so uh, uh, i got five dice against us i've got six okay hey and two crits two crits two hits um, or strikes but so uh let's see my my two expertise here is just gonna be one extra success so my two crits are going through yes, sir and that is going to be... Can you deal eight points of damage and wound me, please? I, points... I'd, like, I'd like you to have a momentum so I can blow up. <laughs> uh, we're only going to be doing two damage to you. Sure. Uh, we're going to be hitting you with an exposed, and we're also going to be doing a recover off that last damage on the Stormtroopers. All right. Oh, you got the recover on your tree? Yep. Cool. All right. And, and that's, that's it for them? That's it for them. I'm going to be scoring two points. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Because right. yeah, this priority should not be there. Yeah, it should be over with Luke. All right, beautiful. And that is the end of your turn. All right, back over to the so-called good guys, and that's going to be your back point. Stormtrooper yep. section. And we're going to top deck. Whoever you want. I think I, 
I think I might be okay with this one. Is, is the Mandalorian about to mess me up? Well, I mean, the Dark Troopers are already down, so I don't know if I actually care about the Mandalorian messing anyone up, right? Well, I'm thinking he might be able to get to the back. Ooh, 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 he might be able to, ooh. Okay, so Mandalorian here. We are going to, uh, we're going to be gutsy here, and, uh, because I'm not engaged with those Dark Troopers who are knocked the hell out. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go over here, and we're gonna we're gonna punch a stormtrooper really hard in the face. He really doesn't like that. Yeah. We're also gonna switch over to bring you in warm. Uh, okay. So we're gonna be throwing seven dice uh, hey. into the uh, into the stormtrooper here. Okay. He's gonna be rolling four. And there's the one success I needed. Uh, I think he got more than the one. And my one expertise is gonna give me one more crit. Okay. So you're getting. Uh, I think I'm getting uh, two, three crits. Three, three crits. Three crits. So that's going to be a total of four damage okay. and two shoves. Beauty. So I actually do not care to shove you. But you'd like to follow up? Well, I'll shove you. I'll shove you once because I think shoving you once does not put you in. I believe so. Oh, also with the angle, oh, could you shove shove me just right into the wall? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. There we go. We shove you into the wall, and then you follow up, and then I follow up to there, and then unfortunately because the shoves are pushes, I can't really shove anywhere else mm -hmm. at this point. So. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to spend a force, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a clan of two, and we're just going to uh, do, do a some, nice little dash. Uh, do some, do a nice little dash over to here to get on this point. And I can either push you, or I can make a five dice attack. <laughs> I'm going to make a five dice attack. Oh no! I forgot about that part <laughs> at all. I was just looking at the movement. Uh, so that's going to be one crit. Okay, and my two expertise on a stormtrooper is going to be one block. So you're getting two through. Two through. That's going to be uh, three more damage. Okay. And another shove. Okay. So we're just going to shove me even further away. We're just going to shove you. The stormtrooper doesn't know what the hell's going on at the moment. He's like, why am I going all over the place? <laughs> He's having a terrible time. Your stormtrooper's still up after that three uh, more damage? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll take that back point, and we're going to score three. Alrighty. One, two, three, and I will get a momentum for that. Yay! And that is it for the Mando. Where's the Prio going? Prio is uh, the point you just Mando. stole from me. Yes. <laughs> Take it back from the Mando. And we've got the Stormtroopers. No, they're actually the guys to take it back. Yeah, they are. So, eh. We'll give you a sec. All right, Stormtroopers, perfect pull it's for you. Stormtroopers time. First thing they're going to do is recover a damage off themselves. Because they're gonna spend a force and then immediately get that damage back. Okay. When they do a dash and focus. Okay. Because this should get both of these guys onto at, this. At point. the very least, I know you're not gonna do uh, your your hatred makes you strong uh, powerful. No, my hatred is unfortunately not making me. I think all you that should powerful. do it. Do it. <laughs> so I've got that point back, but let's always choose violence, right, guys? Well, you don't have the point back yet. I, I got two people on it. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to take it from you, so okay. don't worry. You scared me. This, if no, nothing no. else, the Mandalorian has traumatized me. No, don't worry, I, I got nothing to... Uh, that being said, I am attacking someone on a point I don't currently control. Yep. So that's going to be seven die for both of them because I yes, focus. So we'll go for the first one, which will be this guy here. The back guy. The back guy. Uh, not bad. Uh, that's pretty good for me, too. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, wow. Two more successes and a crit to a fail. My expertise is going to be a single damage into you. All right, I'll take a damage. All right, let's try the next one. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, no. Well, that's a bunch of hits or strikes. Uh, I'll block it all, I think, with uh, three expertise. Oh, no, I'm taking one. Oh, one's going through? Is he I'm, blocking? I'm taking one, it looks like, yeah. Because uh, three expertise is a crit to a fail, and there's no crits in there. Okay. So, yeah, one success goes through. One success goes through. Take another damage. But uh, no no healing for you, sir. No healing for me, unfortunately. But you did take that point back. I did finally take this priority point. Yeah. So you will score uh, You'll score three. I'll score one, three. Two, three. All right. And we're back over to me. Priority objective is going to be this bad boy over here, yeah, it looks Moff like. Moff Gideon's point. Yep, yeah, Moff Gideon's point. And we are going to pull Ooh. Reef Karga. You know what? No. You gotta spend two force to do it. I'm gonna spend two force Okay. I'm gonna spend two force. Mango time! <laughs> no. No. Hey, what's up, Stormtrooper? <laughs> Show mercy.
All right, uh, Mando is actually just going to, like, focus and beat the ever-living bejeebus out of some stormtroopers here. Yep. So this is going to be an eight-die uh, an eight die attack. All right. We're going to attack the one that I can actually... Uh, we're going to attack this one back okay. here, actually. Yeah, because if I can shove him away. Um, block two. So there's that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more than two here. You really. are. Uh, I'm getting, uh, let's see, that's just two expertise. So two expertise is just going to be an extra, uh, just an extra crit. Yep. So, it's not insurmountable, but three, three successes, through. which is going to be enough damage to wound you and mm -hmm. a couple shoves. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna resolve that one off camera. So that'll put the point back for uh, for the Mando here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna score two, one two, and get some momentum. Alrighty. Okay. Variety objective. It is. Hey, it's that oh, back point it's again. The back point, which you just took from me. I just How took from you. Yeah, this, this has apparently been a very popular point. And we've got whoever I want. <laughs> is the stormtroopers activating again? No, I'm thinking I have a far more violent person in mind. Okay. All right, Alex. So I, we, I think I heard you say something about Vader. Something about Vader, yeah. Something about Vader. He's flipping the dark <laughs> rage because I, I have nothing if not a lot of dark rage. He's going to attempt to move and unfortunately shake that pin. But then he's going to spend a force for Vader's Fury. This is going to allow him to do an advance. Yeah, which should put you, like, really danger close zone for me. Uh, danger close is one word for it. <laughs> because it is you are in danger because I am very close. Okay, Mando's got this. Oh, does he? Mando's got this. What about if I let my hatred make me powerful? Mando's got this. <laughs> uh, I don't forget about Gideon's uh, ability and, as well. Yeah, Gideon's <clears throat> ability. So, this would be seven dice. Uh, then I'm adding three, so it's ten. Then I'm adding one more, so it's eleven. Yep. Yeah, I, I got this. I got, oh, you got this. this. Also, because I did use Vader's Fury, uh, I'm also adding two damage to this damage. Yeah, I, I got this. I got this. You got this. I got this. I don't got this. Maybe you don't got this. Oh. Um, uh, four expertise, though. So my four expertise is going to translate to two crits and a strike, as well as a damage. So my three expertise is going to be uh, two successes, and I'm going to turn a crit into a fail. Okay. So, so one I'm, crit becomes a fail. So I'm blocking three. Which means I'm getting four successes as well as uh, three damage. Okay. So... Can you deal six points of damage to With me? four successes on Vader? I sure can. Are uh, you sure? I don't know if that math works, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I see, it. I see uh, it. We're just going straight down the middle, which is going to be a total of six damage as well as two shoves. Got got some shoves in there. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll try and sh you you shoved my stormtrooper to oblivion. What if I shove you to oblivion? Go away. Hey, hey, you know you know what this means though. Mm -hmm. You got a momentum. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, I do at the very least take this point back. Yes, sir. And uh, I gain a momentum. No, that, that's you can give me a momentum if you no, like. I don't you. mind. <laughs> uh, and then I will score three. Well, one second, one second. We're, we're not to that part yet. I'm not there yet. Ah, oh, no kaboom. Wait, is it a crit fail or a crit success? I'm pretty sure it's just a fail. It's a fail. It's okay. just a so fail. So no kaboom. That that would have been hilarious because kaboom would have been I move up and uh, that that dark trooper or that death trooper would have been knocked out. And Gideon would not be in a happy space at no. the moment. So I do, thankfully, no kaboom. Yeah, now you score three. I do score three. Yeah. All right. I was pulling this back a little bit, but uh, that, that Vader activation is, oof. He made up for his last he, activation. He made up for it, yeah. I was out of yeah. it for a bit. Yeah, Man Mando is uh, Mando's not doing much for a little bit. Uh, so that's going to be this point over here. So Gideon's I got to figure point. out, uh, yeah, I got to figure out what we're doing. We're going to pull Karga out of, uh, Grief Karga out of reserve here. And we're just going to throw... Five dice into the uh, the Death Trooper here. Only five? Well, so here here's kind of where I'm at with it. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? Let's let's focus and do okay. six. Got it. Or should I actually move up and just do? No, I should just move up and do a melee. Yeah. Maybe that's what I should do because I'm throwing six dice regardless. And um, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna do this. Okay. He's on the point. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna throw six dice at you. Death Trooper is rolling five. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good roll. Uh, that's not a good roll on my part. Uh, that's just going to be an expose, I think. Okay. So, yeah, just uh, exposing one crit goes through. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be um, a damage and a pin. Okay. Uh, oh, so takes... it's going to be two damage. Uh, you're going to take one because so protection. He'll take one. Yeah. Well, he'll be alive on two. And we're going to spend 
We're going to spend a force and we're going to get IG-11. We're just going to have him dash. Mm -hmm. Because this way, I won't take it this round. Yeah, we discussed this weird rules thing. It checks, if we both tie this objective, it checks at the end of the... Yeah, uh, the way everything checks. Yeah, it is... checks the active player and then the inactive player. So right now, he would win the tie, then I would win the tie. Yeah, so in in the end, like the tie ends up being yours, basically. But on the next turn, it checks that I win the tie and then you win the tie. So it becomes yours next turn. Which is weird, yeah. Um, now, uh, Bausch is also within range here, so Bausch is just going to get rid of that expose. Okie dokie. And uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure a dash does mm. not get me within two there. Not quite. Not quite. So I think what we're going to do is... Actually, I think Bausch is, is quite happy there. Yeah. yeah so Bausch is just going to hang out there and, and call it a day. Uh, I'm only going to score one. Mm -hmm. But you're going to get a momentum? I'm going to get a Not that it's going to matter. Yeah, I you, think you, the struggle you won the struggle at this point, up. yeah. All right. Priority objective! Yes. Not that it matters, but that uh, black point. Vader's point. So you're you're definitely yes. tapping out this one. And Death Trooper Escort. I don't yep. hate it. I mean, he's he's pinned and exposed, but, so uh, he can't do a whole hell of a lot. He but. can focus shoot. <laughs> That's always an option on the table. Well, he's engaged with Karga, Grief Karga, so he's going to have to punch or get out of get out of engagement. You make a good point. Yeah. Uh, at the start of his activation, he chooses this unit or a support unit, uh, because he has damage on him, he can reposition. So he's just going to reposition to get rid of his pin. Sure. Um, how much health left on IG-11? IG-11 has two, because he was two. able to recover off uh, Karga's ability. Okay. In that case, he's going to take a move action, which has to be a dash, just over to here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try and punch IG-11. I love it. This, this plan is amazing. So I got, uh, I got five dice. I've got uh, seven. Okay. Yes, wound him. Wound him. Uh, not bad. Oh, gee, that's actually really good for me. Three expertise in melee will be a crit and a damage that just goes through. So I'll get four successes and a reposition. Okay, so my two crits are going through in addition to the damage. Yes, sir. I think I got them. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a total of two damage plus the two for four damage, as well as a shove and a disarm. So I'll just shove you away. I will disarm you, and then, very crucially, I'll gain a momentum. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. So you beep. will roll two die now, and uh Come on! Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> um so I'm not gonna bother dashing anywhere because I'm outside of three of grief. Yep. Yeah. Uh I'm, oh oh so you so know what? dash back ever so slightly. <laughs> we'll just do that and uh kaboom! The earth-shattering we'll kaboom. We'll do five damage to the dark trooper, who, or the death trooper. Who, Which will uh, take him down. Hey, guess who's not contesting a point anymore? <laughs> and we'll do five damage to Moth Gideon. Yep. Um, so, and IG-11 goes away. <laughs> hey, I got good news for you, though. Yes. You do gain a momentum for that. Ooh. You do gain a momentum so for I that. So I win immediately. So, yeah. I mean, the, the struggle was yours regardless. <laughs> the struggle was mine, but... <laughs> but IG-11 did the thing. He did and, the thing. And, and we're, we're happy about that. Uh, the Dark Trooper, or the Death Trooper, is taking a lot of damage, and Gideon's taking a lot oh, of damage. Death Trooper's and... down. Yep. That yep. took him. <laughs> so, uh, kaboom. Kaboom. I love it. That's great. And that is the end of the that struggle. Is true. Moving into the final struggle, and we have Commander Commandeer a new ride. Mm. I'm going to choose the bottom path, okay? Because Luke is controlling it, and Boosh is controlling this one. Yep. So uh, that's that's how we how we roll on this particular instance. Get rid of that that shenanigans right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and priority is going to be the this back one with Luke. Oh, very nice. That's perfect. So just awesome. don't draw Luke. Just don't draw Luke. Oh, he should not be in the deck. Not anymore. Yeah, not, not anymore. Lando and R2. Lando and R2. And uh, this one's going to be... It's going to be very boring. Mm -hmm. but, but very effective. It's going to about there. And Lando is just going to... Uh, Lando's actually going to walk back onto this point. Okie dokie. Yeah. Lando's going to walk back onto this point here. We're also going to get rid of that strain that I had. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to take cover. Because yeah. I don't think... Yeah, I have to take cover here. And that puts you on this back point. Yep. And Lando is happy where he is. You are... Am I still have... engaged? 
just out. Just out? Okay. So you get that hunker. Oh, that's not a hunker. This Here, I got a, you. This is a hunker right there. All right. And uh, we'll take all three points, and that will be, uh, that'll be Lando and R2 all done. Yeah. One, two, three, four. A very good start. Very good start. Back to the Empire. We've got R2's point. Okay. Yeah. And Who's most... trying to take it? I feel like I have my... I, I like these you're, odds. You're going to punch your droid, man? R2 was your friend. I do like these odds. Uh, we're going to go with Darth Vader. Yeah. He's going to be spending a force for Vader's Fury. How much force you got left, by the way? Uh, four. Okay. After this. So he's going to take a walk right over here. We're going to get rid of that hunker. Oh, man. Not again. <laughs> we're going to add two damage to this... Uh, this attack pool. Yes, sir. I'm choosing, weirdly enough, not to let my hatred make me powerful. I think that's an awful idea. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm already rolling seven die, but I am going to focus, so it's eight. And then I'm attacking someone on an objective I don't control, so, so nine. it's nine. So it's nine dice attack. I think you need three more dice. I think I'm good. I see at least two crits there, and your expertise should give you a couple more. My four expertise on this side is going to be two crits, a strike, and a damage. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, two of your strikes. Okay. Uh, so I'm so only getting five successes. Five through. I feel like I did it. Can five you deal seven points of damage well, to uh, Lando and R2? Because I'm getting three through just in the damage pool from Expertise and Vader's Fury. I only need to do not that much. I mean, I've already put a wounded token on him. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, how about we just go... Because I have five going through. We'll just go down the center tree. So this is going to be... Going to shove R2 around a little bit? Two shoves, and I, I get a dash as well. I mean, you guys used to be cool together, and <laughs> now he's just pushing droids around. Shove do you want to do away. any follow-ups, or are you happy with Vader? I get two follow-ups and a dash, so I'm just going to put him <clears throat> right in here with the dash. Make it hard for me to push yeah. him out. And then I'm going to gain a momentum yeah, for taking score two. And it's getting another momentum for it not being on this side. The I, IG-11, yeah, IG-11's corpse is still just beeping. <laughs> Bob Gideon's just kind of looking at it like, oh no. <laughs> not again. Uh, okay, good turn. And we're going to be uh, same point. Okay. So who do we got? Mr. Luke Skywalker. So Luke is going to jump this way, hit the ingress point, and oh go up goodness, there. Oh my gracious. And yep. And then, uh, then what we're going to do is, hmm, i got to look at my abilities here for a second. So Luke is then going to uh, walk all the way over to here. Say hello to his father. Say hello to his father. Um, and uh, I think what we're going to do, so, yeah, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to spend a force. Oh wait, I'm not contesting this objective yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm just I'm gonna punch it for seven. Okie dokie. But I got... think unless I have a more aggressive side over here, it is eight, but I don't have. Oh, he does have a reposition. Mm. But you know, what? I just need a shove. Yep. I just need a shove. And you're not steadfast, right? Uh, no. So we're just gonna throw seven dice at you. Okay, I've got six because I flipped over to my defensive side. It's <laughs> a lot of expertise. <laughs> I think I might be getting all my expertise defensively. Oh no. Which is gonna be three blocks. Oh no. Uh, okay, good. I got a crit. Okay, so you got the crit going. I, I got the crit, which gives me the one success I needed. <laughs> so you're going to take two damage. Okay. I'm going to shove you uh, over to there. Ooh, the one angle I wasn't protected from. And then we'll shove over to there. And Luke will take this point back. Mm -hmm. Now, something else I want to quickly mention, I missed Mando's trigger for his identity. Yeah. Which would have actually drastically changed things, because Mando was not wounded. He could have repositioned onto this point, mm -hmm. um, which would have done different things for you. Normally, we do the gentlemanly thing where it's like, yeah, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Because of how important that particular one was and how things would have been different, we, we decided, you know what? I missed the trigger. Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is. Um, and Luke was able to do what I needed him to do anyway. So we, we are okay with that. It's still on track to be your game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does kind of look that way at this point because I'm going to score four points again. So one, two, three, six. four. Yeah. And that is Luke all done. Where's the priority going? Priority point is your is back point back. over with Lando. So you need the Dark Troopers, I think. I really need the Dark Troopers. Hey, look at the, the Dark, dark troopers. troopers. Okay. All right. We might be able to do something here. So the first thing to keep in mind, you are engaged with Bausch. Yes. So that does kind of suck for your movement. It does, which is why I said might. I might need to think about it as well. Okay, we'll give you a moment. 
All right, what are the Dark Troopers up to? The first thing they got to do, which is my, my deepest love in this universe, is incredible, incredible violence. <laughs> uh, so they're going to die at the end of this activation anyways, so they might as well take some extra damage to let their patient make them powerful. I, I love it. So they would be rolling six die in melee. So now you're up to nine, plus now you're up, up to, to ten nine, for Gideon. Plus ten for Gideon. Yep. It's great. So many dice. Yep. So i got ten die melee. We're going to be starting with this one here, and we're going to be punching... Actually, yeah, we'll... Why not? Because if you open that yeah. one up, he's got a lot of good shooting yes. options. So we'll start with that one. We got a 10 die oh. attack at Bausch. Actually, this one might have some better shooting options. You know what? You're right. We'll yeah. start with this one, Punch and Bausch. Yeah. 10 okay. die. I see one crit and some fail, but not a bad roll. Not a bad roll at all. Four expertise in melee for them is going to be a crit and a damage. My my awful expertise, well, I shouldn't say awful, but just just one extra success here. So you're blocking all of my strikes, yep. so I'm so, getting two through. But that's what that's what you were saying you kind of needed. Yeah, so with the extra damage, it's going to be a total of four damage as well as a pin. Okay. And then the other one... So is, your, your expertise was given a damage? The expertise gave me a damage, yes. Cool. Okay. So it's going to be four damage with a pin, and then the other one is going to punch you in the yep. melee as Just well. Just need to do two points of damage. Uh, and why not? He'll also let his hatred make him power. Sure. Yeah, it's an identity. You're not and, limited to once per uh, thing. And there's no downside to them taking damage when they fall off the board this turn. Uh, your expertise should give you at least one crit, I think. Three ex or four expertise, again, is going to be a crit and a damage. So your your crit goes through. Yep. Uh, which means only your crit goes through, but that crit. is the damage you needed. Yeah, because that's going to be uh, three damage with the expertise damage, which finally takes down Bausch. Yep. Uh, okay, so do you have any triggers that have to go off right now? Or can I, I do, do Mando? not. Okay, so Mando gets his trigger, and uh, he's just going to... Re do a reposition onto this back point. Yeah, onto this back point here. So he's going to recover two mm -hmm. and get his butt up there. Yep. As for the now free from engaged with um, death troopers, we still got an action. So, do you have another trigger? Nope, nope. Oh, okay. Yep. So, we're going to knock over the ladder. That's an important part of movement. <laughs> They're very destructive, you see. Exactly. Uh, and this guy's going to take a walk over with <laughs> Mr. And that is definitely within two there. Yep. yep. And the other one doesn't really need to walk anywhere because he's already going to be taking that center point. Yes, sir. And then they're going to die terribly, but they're also going to score me three points in a momentum. Yeah. Which is huge. Which is big. Yeah. Because you're also going to get another momentum for, uh, mm -hmm. for it being on my side. But that's it. That's their final hurrah for the, and the dark, dark troopers. Troopers. Dark troopers are done. All right. Primary objective is going to be this back one right here. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know who I have left in my deck. Oh. I think it's Bausch. Dang, it's Bausch. So I think I have to. I need. I need the two points yeah. more than I need the uh, more than I need this center point right here. Yes. So, so the first thing we're gonna do with Bausch is uh, fan out. Mm -hmm. So Bausch is going to uh, Bausch is going to reposition over to here. Oh, actually no, Bausch. Is, oh, I was gonna say I should go over here and punch your dark. No. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, and then we're just going to. Uh, Take a climb action? Uh, actually, hold up. Hold up a second. Before, up a second. before I do this... Oh, no, the fan out has to happen first. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the fan out has to happen first. I was going to say, I should shoot first. Mm -hmm. Ask questions later. <laughs> That's been my strategy. Bausch will go up here, get within two mm -hmm. at this point. Yep. And uh, what is the range of my blaster? I don't think I have range on anyone. No. No, not quite. So, yet. you know what we're going to do? We're just going to take cover. Sounds good. Yep. And we'll take this point back. And Bosch will be, I guess, Bosch will kind of be happy there. Yeah, we'll score and, three. Uh, we'll score three. So one, two, three. Okay. And that is it for uh, the good guys. Variety token. It is. This back point right here Ooh. where I got the Mando and Luke on okay. it. Okay. So I got two units. That's going to be a tough one for you to shake. Storm Trooper. Supervisor. Supervisor. Yeah. Cool. And your other Storm Troopers are still down. Yes. Them so. being down is real unfortunate right now. Are you able to move Vader with this sergeant? No, it has to be a support. Ah, oh, darn. So I have to think for a second. Sure. All right, so what's up, Alex? We're going to be paying a force to reserve the Stormtrooper Supervisor, because looking at all the things in discard and the one card left, 
Gideon. Gotta be Gideon. All right. He has a very nice play. Yes, he does. Because of smug determination, he's going to have himself and an allied uh, Galactic Empire character within four yep. do a dash. We're going to make sure we do it right this time, where Gideon gets the dash as well. Yes, Gideon gets the dash as well, which is important. He's going to dash over to this ingress point here, climb on up, yep. get that little bit of extra movement. And then the advance should definitely put you within two. Yep, so he's going to walk himself over here. And Mr. I always win ties. I always win ties. I have already claimed this point, but I might as well punch Mr. Skywalker in the process, right? He has a deflect in range. It is a range deflect, yes. So he's not going to be able to kill me in melee. So, we'll stay. Um, I am going to spend a force for okay. I will not fight you, though. Okay. Um, just, just because. It'll give me some recovers, potentially, if you don't okay. take me down. So, this would be a seven die attack. But because I am on an objective that you're, that I'm not, or punching someone on an objective I'm yep. not controlling, I'm going to be doing an eight dice attack. You, you don't want to. You don't want to be angry. <laughs> I'm far too close to death to help my hatred make me powerful. Makes sense. So I'll have to live with an eight die attack. Not That's a pretty attack. good yeah. eight die attack. You did get a fail in there, so my my ability will kick in. Mm -hmm. And my expertise in melee is going to be a crit and a damage. So my expertise is going to be two more successes, and I'm going to turn a uh, crit into a strike. Okay. So I'm going to get four through. Uh, did you get two crits? Two crits, yes. Okay, yeah. So four go through. Okay. Um, so four going through with Gideon. How much damage does... Oh, Luke's undamaged. So yeah, Luke, can... Luke, Luke, is, Luke is loving yeah. this. So in that case, uh, we'll go off of his bottom tree. It's going to be a total of five damage. Yep. As a reminder, I oh. am immune to pin. I don't know if that matters for you. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a total of five damage, as well as a strain, a shove, and an exposed. Strain, a shove, and an exposed. Okay. So we'll just take Mr. Luke, send him over there. Okay. Um, so I will now trigger my I will not fight you. Mm -hmm. So uh, after the attack is resolved, you contain one crit or one fail in there. I yep. get to recover twice and I get to jump. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the I'm gonna get rid of the I'm I'm not gonna bother getting rid of the exposed because Luke is gonna be back in or Luke is back in my order deck. So I'm yep. actually immune to exposed. Oh, and it will fall right off. So it falls right off. So Beauty. I'm gonna I'm gonna recover one of that damage. How much did you do to me? Uh, five. So I'll be at four, and I'll get rid of the, the strain. And you're going to jump onto the center point. And I'm going to jump onto the center point. Oh my goodness, no. Ah. Uh, even if I hadn't shoved you, they, you'd still be there. I'd still be there, nope. yeah. Uh, so we'll take that point back. So you you get the, you can have that point. That's yes. fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. But it means I'm only scoring two, which puts this eminently winnable for you. Yeah, and you're going to get some momentum for that. And uh, yeah, if... if uh, the game is not quite over just yet, but it's getting very close. Priority objective it's... is going to be this back point. Oh, oh there we, there we point. go. That's uh, that is definitely something Moff Gideon wants. It looks like. Mm -hmm. Who are we top decking? <laughs> I don't do a good uh, face recorder impression. Yeah, yeah, that that is that is Mando, man. Oh, oh yeah, it's Mandan time. It's it's Mandan time. <laughs> We're going to pretend we didn't say that. Um, am I already engaged with Gideon here, or am I going to have to move? You are just out. Currently. I'm just out, yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to spend one force, mm -hmm. um, because I'm going to do a clan of two. Okay. Bonk. Mm -hmm. Like so. And we're going to make a... F oh, oh, actually... What's the range on that? Okay, so here's the thing. Do I want to push you and just take the point... Or do I want to punch you with Mando? I think you want to punch me. Because if think... you push me once, I don't... No, no, no push this two. is a range of two push. Oh, yeah, that... But here's the thing. I This channel is not known for smart decisions. You make a good point. <laughs> yeah, this channel is not known for smart decisions here. Um, so we, we are going to we're gonna punch you for five dice. Okay. Uh, so Gideon has six in there. So that's not awful. Not awful. That's going to be one crit in there. Uh, my two expertise is going to be another block, so your crit's going to go through. Yep. So one success goes through. That's going to be a damage and a push. Okay. I am not going to push you. Oh, okay. No, I am not going to push you, sir. Instead, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fearless and inventive. Yep. Um, oh, you know what? If I was smarter, mm -hmm. if I was smarter, I would have left Mando right there, mm -hmm. engaged with all... <laughs> 
and added six dice to my attack. Well, I think where you were, you were still engaged with Stormtrooper Supervisor. Yeah. So. But I don't. I don't get the the other dude. Yep. Um. Okay. So I am. I'm adding four dice to my attack. Uh oh. So this is gonna be a twelve dice attack. Yep. Uh, this... Gideon's got six, and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, and this is this is big a bombad. <laughs> Are you letting your hatred make you powerful over there? Uh, apparently. <laughs> I right. think. I'm going to go on a limb here and say I think you might have gotten them. I, I think I might have gotten them. My, my three expertise here is going to be a crit and a strike. Okay. My expertise... What is that? That's four? Uh, that's going to be two blocks. I'm going to turn a crit to a fail. Okay. And then I get a recover after this is resolved, but I don't think so. I'm live only that two long. successes go through. Mm -hmm. That was actually a really good defensive roll there. It was, but um, you only need to do two damage. It's going to be a total of three damage and a shove. And that's and that that is going to be that's the moth. That's going to be the moth goes down. And now here here's the interesting thing: Vader is still alive, so I'm not taking the point from you. True. But because I. It, it's it, this is just a clock now. It's a, it's a ticking <laughs> it, clock. This is a ticking clock at this yep. point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Mando had a great uh, a great turn right there. He had a very good turn. All right, Alex. The priority point is the center. The center point, and, and you have the stormtrooper supervisor. All right. So uh, I I have to close the deal here. Oh no. When an imposing player chooses to activate a unit from reserve, this unit may use this ability. So I'm going to spend one. Mm -hmm. Choose an allied bounty hunter character. The chosen character may immediately dash and make a five dice attack, targeting the chosen character <laughs> that was chosen to activate. Remember how you said I was within melee range of... Oh, uh, no! <laughs> at least your sergeant's untouched. Yeah, well, not for long. So, uh, let's see here. What we're gonna what we're gonna do is... Uh, I don't think there's really much point to dashing. I don't think, anyway. No, you're already where you want to be. Yeah, I'm already kind of where I want to be here. So you got so. a five dice attack, I got a five dice attack. Uh, two expertise on a stormtrooper is just a single block. Which is going to be a crit and a strike. So you're getting two crits going through? <laughs> two crits going through, uh, which is going to be three damage and a shove. Okay. So, yeah, not, not really. Oh, uh, yeah. Three, it's, my expertise was actually just one crit, but still. Oh, okay. So my, my, my two crits still go through. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm just going to deal three damage and a shove. Okay. There's not really much I can do to shove you around. Mm -hmm. And where, where's that stormtrooper off to? Yeah, he's going to make <laughs> another stormtrooper do a move. Uh, he does take a damage for this. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways. The, the wounded stormtrooper. Yeah. Um, as for the stormtrooper sergeant, uh, I don't think he has any path to actually take a point back this round. No, especially the middle one with a very, very durable Luke Skywalker on it. Yeah. Mm. Well, I also have uh, I Will Not Fight You, so if you do that to him, he j Luke just jumps back onto this point. Ugh. <laughs> As long as you roll a fail, right? Like yeah. The other thing to keep in mind is I got my def uh, the deflect doesn't really matter because it wouldn't kill the uh, the surgeon. I think my best option at this point is actually just to focus shoot Luke. Like in a perfect world, I could. How much damage do I need to do to kill him? Uh, seven. I can't kill you. No, sir. No. You cannot. Uh, hmm. in melee you might be able to. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, you can only do six in melee with the yeah. expertise. I think you boned. I think I'm boned. Yeah. So I think I just punch Mando. <laughs> just to go for it. <laughs> I mean, he had it coming. Yeah, he has it coming. So we're just going to focus punch Mando. We're going to use uh, coordinated offensive. So I add an extra <laughs> die. Um, we're going to let my hatred make me powerful to add some extra die. <laughs> we're going to... If this sergeant just, like, dummies Mando... I don't uh, think he can. Oh no, you can't. But I can feel I can feel real good about it. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be five dice plus one uh, plus three from Vader plus uh, one for Gideon. From, not from Gideon because I am punching you on a point that you I do control. Oh, you do control. But yeah. I get one from coordinated offensive because I have an allied stormtrooper unit in range. Yes, sir. That's pretty good. That's four crits right there. Darn good. And uh, I, I failed a whole bunch there. And my two expertise in melee is just going to be a damage. So I'm going to get two successes, and I'm going to downgrade a crit to a strike. Okay. So you're going to block two. Oh, no, crit to a fail, sorry. Crit okay. to a fail. So this crit goes away, and these two are blocked. So four going through. Yes, sir. Which is the whole tree. And if we go all the way for damage, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five damage. Plus the one from expertise, which is going to be a total of six. Which does not kill Mando. Nope. Can you put some conditions on me, though? Unexposed. A okay. shove. 
I can recover for days. Not not many places to, to push me either, it no. seems. I can recover four times, and I can I, put I mean, an exposed on If you. you follow up, I think that does put you within two of the point. So it does make me work a little bit harder to take that back one. That's true. So, so we'll follow up on the shove. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that puts you within two anyway. It looks like it. It does not. Ooh. So that's going to be it for the Stormtrooper Supervisor. He's going to recover four times. Uh, one. Oh. Yes. Is it four recovers or three recovers? It is one. I see three. Two, three, four. Oh, four. Okay, there's the four. Uh, and I didn't actually uh, expose you because I did the shove instead. Oh, okay. So, unfortunately. Oh. That's okay. We'll grab it in a we'll second. We'll grab it in a minute. Uh, what uh, was the priority point? Was it Luke's? It was Luke's in the second. Okay. Um, and. I recover four times. I'm taking some damage off Vader. Sure. Might as well. All right. And that's it for the supervisor. So, yeah, this, this is pretty much uh, the game. So let's just see how we cap it out. The Luke is once again the, the priority here. Mm -hmm. And, nah. Nah. Bosh. Well, Bosh is going to have to bore ba Bosh is just, Yeah, Bosh game. is just going to hang out there. That, that's how the game ends. With a, with a very with a very dull, uh, not fantastic. Yeah, that's. I was hoping for that or Luke uh, to go through there. So there we go. The the end of the game, it's going to be a, a victory. I think this is Luke's first win on the channel. Yeah? It might be Luke's first win. He but, deserves it. But there we go. Uh, th this was absolutely Mando's game, though. Uh, oh, Mando absolutely. did so much of this game. So we're going to jump over to the meditations and have a quick chat about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Leave your comments below. Let us know if we missed anything on this one. And, uh, of course, we will see you next time. Happy Wargaming.